What's going on, people? This is your boy, Jay. Minister Jay. And I'm going to be reading Psalm 91 because I think it's important that we understand, the you know, that we need the protection of God, man, even in the worst and roughest times of our lives. And it reads, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in him I will trust. Surely he shall deliver you from the snare of the fowler and from the perilous pestilence. He shall cover you with his feathers and under his wings you shall take refuge. His trust, his truth shall you shall be your shield and buckler. You shall not be afraid by the terror you should not be afraid of the terror by night nor the arrow that flies by day nor of the pestilence that walks in the darkness nor of the destruction that lays waste at noonday a thousand may fall at your side and ten thousand at your right hand but it shall not come near you only with your eyes shall you look and see the reward of the wicked because you have made the lord who is my refuge, even the Most High, your dwelling place. No evil shall befall you, nor shall any plague come near your dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. In their hands they shall bear you up, lest you dash your foot against the stone. You, sh you shall tread upon the lion and the cobra, the young lion and the serpent shall trample underfoot. You shall trample underfoot because he has set his love upon me. Therefore, I will deliver him. I will set him on high because he has known my name. I shall call. He shall call upon me and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. That, my people, is the reading of Psalm 91. Because we are living in, I mean, we have some really tough, dangerous times here, guys. And I just wanted to post, read this so I can, you know, get everybody to understand that Psalm 91 is a very important scripture. Or should I say an important chapter? Or should I say an important psalm? We should get into the habit of reading and speaking Psalm 91 over ourselves, over our lives. So there you have it, people. Psalm 91, be blessed in Jesus name. Amen.